So in this uh, module, in this lesson, we're mostly using the developer tab. We're not going to release the cell tab here, but we have this up just in just for uh, just in case. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and full screen this real quick and <clears throat> do the following, right? So number one, um, you know, the conditional is very interesting. So one thing you want to do is let's just call it sub uh, conditional one. And we're going to call it dim a one integer. And a1 is equal to 1. If a1 is greater than 0, then what? Right? If it's greater than 0, we want to put, type in the following message. Message box is a1 greater than 0. Okay? All right. Else, what? We don't want to print anything. We want to type in message box. By the way, I misspelled message here, so I want to fix that. Message box, A1 is not greater than 0. Okay, it's very simple. Uh, you save it, right? And you can just run it off here. So you run it, you can run the user form, compile end. I'm sorry, I need to make an end if, end if. Okay, you don't really need. Uh, other tabs here, save it, now run it, A1 is greater than zero, okay? So I can run it off straight off here, or I could just run it out of the, uh, uh, run it straight out of um, conditional one, let's call it condo one, it doesn't matter, right? I can call this uh, conditional one, now I'm gonna Change the name to conditional one. Um, save it. I'm going to reset it here. Assign the macro to conditional one. Just like that. And a1 is greater than zero. So if a1 is 100, is a1 greater than zero? Answer is a1 is still, sorry, I need to save it. a1 is still greater than zero. If a1 is zero, okay, if a1 is zero, then what do I do? I hit it. a1 is not greater than zero. Okay. So now you want something else. So now what you want to do is make a lot of separate conditional, right? And then do a little bit of math behind it. And it's nothing very difficult, but we can just do it this way. Control C and do it control conditional two. And we'll just call this conditional two. And we're going to set A1 to one, A2, two, two, two. And then A3 is equal to A2 plus A1, okay? So this is straightforward. If a three equals three, then what? Then so if so if a three equals three, I can say um, a three is equal to three. Here a a is a I'm sorry a three. is not equal to three. Now I'm gonna save it, okay? Now obviously make another button here on my forms, right here, uh, call it conditional two, call it here, I can just change the name, two, I can save it, boom, run it, and a3 is equal to 3, right? Now, if I hit change this to 5, then obviously a3 is 6, right? And now a3 is not equal to 3, okay? So this is a check method. So, so now the main question is I have a couple of questions. Number one, how do you check an answer, okay? How do you, we just, we just did that. How do we check an answer? We just did that, right? How do you check an answer from a cell? Again, think sheet one dot range, right? Three is, uh, how do you check a three 
to a cell value. Pi in a three to sheet one dot range. And you should be able to handle the rest. This is very straightforward, okay?